What's going on guys? Alex Truth 814 EDC and as you guys can see I am filming this outside again. Uh, it is Wednesday February 8th I think and it's like 55 degrees out. Um, I just got home from work and I have a really quick unpackaging to do for you guys and I thought you know what it's really nice out why not take advantage of it. Um, you know I'm about to take my dog on a walk just film a quick video so I can fidget with the knives on the walk um, but again it's it's beautiful out for February so um you guys know you know i like to film outside as much as i can you know over the summer and stuff like that and i filmed a video in the same spot uh it's probably i don't know a month and a half ago or so maybe a month ago um but the unboxing knife is the make sure i can see my phone here benchmade bug out uh, it's my daily carry work knife uh you know things used and abused probably needs a touched up edge uh, but this thing is just fantastic for my daily tasks and my daily needs uh especially you know up on a roof beating up beating up on it stuff like that um it's you know held up great so but this is a package coming in from g ball vision um and this is there's three knives in here uh technically two packages from kevin over at left edc uh, as a lefty pass around um so one package is the cmb cmb yeah cmb dharma and another package is a o knife roboto 3 and a Kaiser Drop Bear, and I believe Toxic Storm uh, Fat Carbon. Uh, so I'm really excited to check these out. Use my little windowsill up here as my little table, because I am filming this. Uh, my phone is on an outside windowsill at my house, uh, just because it's right at my, my face level. Um, We'll open the CMB Dharma first. So this is, I think this is my first CMB model that I've ever handled. Um, they primarily make budget models, but this is one of their higher end models. Um, but it comes in a CMB made knives box. Um, CMB knives, CMB made knives at 163.com. Then Instagram CMB made knives. You guys can see right there. Um, let's see. All right, so the model. So this is the model, um, the Dharma CMB-12B. Um, handle is made out of titanium and carbon fiber. Uh, M390 blade, surface black. So I think it's a blacked out blade. And then of course it is made in China. Uh, and then there is CMB's logo as well. So we will open this bad boy up. Comes in a CMB pouch. with a silica gel pack and just the knife. So we're gonna grab the knife out of here. Uh, open, attention, you are buying, attention, you are buying on knife. Keep the knife away from children. Um, so there's a little PSA for all CMB knife owners. Open this bad boy up, shove that in there. Again, you guys will have to bear with me. I am not, I don't have a table or anything to film on. So I just gotta, kinda gotta put stuff back uh, as I take it out, get it to stay. All right, so here is the Dharma. You guys can see it is a, um, it's a liner lock, but it has bolsters up here, titanium bolsters with a flipper tab, a little front flipper that is intriguing. Um, definitely very minimalistic and a hole. Then here you have a milled titanium pot clip that is, just ready only carry from the looks of it. Lanyard tube, um, a backspacer, and here on the um, flipper tab, it says M390. My phone will focus on that right there. Hopefully it will. Um, yeah, let's give this thing a flick. It flies right out of there. There is the CMB made knives logo. I'm not talking to Siri. Siri makes an appearance in every one of my videos, and I don't know why. She just must like my videos. Um, but there's a CMB logo, nice choil there. Um, I believe this is probably the designer, uh, design mark. I don't know who designed this, but comfortable in hand. Uh, the choil really makes this thing a joy to hold, uh, first impressions. Choke back, I can still get all four fingers on there. Uh, you can see the detent ball track right there, um, which is, you know, uh, common on some knives. Very smooth action, dead centered. No blade play. Uh, one thing I will say, I wish I gave a little bit more lock bar access. 
Um, it is scalloped and chamfered out there, um, right here on both sides, but I would like to maybe have a little bit more access, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Um, but it's very smooth, no blade play, like I said. The flipper tab is very small and very minimalistic, um, but it flies right out of there. Try the front flipper. You can do it um, pretty easily. It's just kind of kind of weird because it's so small. Um, there, the flipper tab got caught on my finger. Um, try lefty, bang it right out of there. I don't know what these go for price-wise. Um, I'll definitely have to look that up and get some specs on it for the full review. Um, but yeah, this is this is well made. The carbon fiber is nice. I don't see any any voids or anything like that. It's kind of a car. Uh, no, this would be a. Would this be a, a marbled or a shred carbon? Um, there goes Siri again. Kind of, it's kind of in the mixture between the two, but feels good in the hand. Looks nice. Pot clip. We'll try it in and out of pocket. Goes in easily. Uh, you do have about that much sticking up out of your pocket, but that's you know not going to be super super bothersome. Um, so that'll work well. But yeah, it's a cool knife. Uh, again, this is the first CMB model that I've ever handled. Um, but yeah, so far, you know, I like it. So can't wait to get it, get that in pocket. And then here is a little carrying case, little hard shell case that has, like I said, the Roboto 3 from O Knife and the Kaiser Drop Bear, which the Drop Bear has gotten a lot of uh, hype around it lately. And I have yet to try one. Um, so this will be the first time I've tried one, which I'm very, very excited for. And then I've also heard good things about the, the Roboto 3 from O-Knife. Um, Kevin, I think he said it was his favorite model he's handled so far from them, which uh, and he said it's actually a good knife, which is pretty good praise for Kevin, considering, you know, O-Knife makes some, I don't want to say cheesy designs. Um, but this one actually looked really, really good. So we'll go with the Roboto 3 first. You guys can see right away it's rocking some aluminum green scales. Um, has some nice scalloping going on there. It is rocking their access style lock, which I believe they are calling a a bar lock. I don't know. They have a specific name for it. Um, these are these are made, I believe, by Kaiser, um, which Kaiser has a name for their access style lock, and it's different from this one. I'm drawing a blank on what they're both called. I'll definitely look that up and have. Um, you know, more information on that in my full review. If I wasn't talking about it right now, I would be able to tell you, you know, what it is. It's one of those things where you know what it is, you just can't think about it. Um, but 154 CM on the blade steel right there. Thumb studs, uh, lefty and righty carry loop over style deep carry clip that is um, suppressed into the scales with countersunk screws, which is nice. This thing's a pretty small knife. Um, I like the scalloping or the uh, kind of chamfering on the scales. It makes it really have a nice touch to it. Has some standoffs back there. Give this thing a flip. Uh, it is dead centered. Flies right out of there. Um, there is a smidgen of blade play, but you know, sometimes with uh, access style lock knives, you're gonna get that. But this thing is super drop shutty, as you guys can see. Closes home very, very easily. Middle finger flick, works well. Now it's really sunny out, so hopefully you guys are able to uh, see this okay. It's not being too um, filtered out, but yeah, this thing is very snappy. Middle finger flick is really good. Uh, Ergos, for being a smaller knife, this thing fits in the hand super well. You have a little bit of micro milling or micro jumping up there. Feels great in the hand. You probably could use this as kind of a little choil. Nah, not, not for my fingers. If you had smaller fingers, you might be able to, uh, but you're kind of catching the corner of the edge right there. But yeah, I can just get all four fingers on here very uh, comfortably. For, for a small knife, um, I'm, I'm impressed with this for, you know, I've only handled, I think I've only handled one other O knife and that was the Beagle. Um, I love that knife. I think it was really, really good for the price point. Um, I ended up selling it though, just cause you know, I wanted to get other stuff in. You guys know how it is. Um, you know, sometimes you have to let go of good knives and I wanted to try some other budget models, but uh, the Beagle in my Carta was fantastic. Uh, I really, really like that knife. So this is the second O knife I believe I've handled, and it's really good. Um, snappy. Like I said, there is a little bit of blade play, but you know sometimes you're going to get that with uh, access style lock knives. There is a Roboto three. There is the uh, O knife logo. I don't love that they put the logo on the blade. I wish they would kind of, you know, make it smaller, um, put it maybe inside the knife somewhere. But 
you know, that's my only gripe really so far with this knife. Uh, it's very lightweight, internal milling on both uh, liners. Pot clip, try the pot clip works, see, or see how the pot clip works. Works very well in and out of pocket. Uh, you do have a little bit sticking up out, but no big deal at all. Um, so yeah, Roboto 3, really, really cool knife. And there is Siri for the third time. <laughs> Um, and last, but certainly not least, is the Kaiser Drop Bear in Toxic Storm Fat Carbon, I believe, and 20 CV. Siri, I don't want to talk to you. She is just addicted to me today, guys. Um, it has one of those loop over style deep carry clips that is like titanium, uh, kind of similar to the one that I have on my mini uh, bag lighter in the frag tie. But Fat Carbon looks really, really nice. It's going to catch the sun nicely. Um, looks good. Now this is the access style lock that they came up with that you're able to adjust the tension. I believe there's three or four holes. You can make it a lighter or stiffer detent, which is really cool that they came out with. And is it the able lock? No, the able lock is Hogue, I think. I don't know, like I said, it's so, I know it, I just can't think of it right now, um, but I'll make sure I, uh, I'm more informed on it for the full review. But dead centered, give this thing a flick. And I love the blade shape on this, looks great. Um, it's kind of a spear point, but it has a nice chunky kind of tip to it. Um, drop bear, 20 CV, and this is designed by Azo. And then over here just says, has the Kaiser logo. Ergos in hand are really, really good. Uh, this thing is kind of chunky. Um, the liners are pretty thin. Uh, they're shadow box liners, but then you have, you know, big thick slabs of fat carbon. Um, it's very lightweight though, because of the fat carbon and because of the... Um, internal milling that they have on both sides of the scale. The pot clip is reversible, lefty or righty. Um, lanyard hole right there. See, well, blade play. No, oh, this thing is locked up really tight and it does that. This is this is really nice, guys. Um, I was impressed by the Roboto 3, but this thing is, is really, really nice. Um, it feels great in the hand. It's, it's like the perfect size for me. Um, the jimping extends the whole way out to, um, you know, basically takes up two thirds of the blade, which is cool. And it just, like I said, uh, I know this was Kevin or Kevin had both of these in before. Um, so I think he fine tuned this one and took it apart and, you know, you know, fiddle with it and stuff like that. But to have no, uh, blade play at all. And for it to drop just, oh, that's, that's really, really nice. Um, and it has kind of a clicking sound if you guys are able to pick up on that that is smooth though it's on bearings i believe uh dead centered like i said 20 cv blade um it feels fantastic in the hand it's it's chunky but it's a chunky in a good way um and it's just like the perfect size like this thing is i, I really like this um you know i was expecting when i first got on the list and i first you know I've heard so much about it. I've heard good things about it. Really no bad things. Um, try it out in pocket real quick. Goes in, in and out of pocket fantastically. Um, I've heard, you know, so many good things about it. I had really high expectations for it. And it has surpassed that. Uh, enough to the point where I kind of want to get one. Um, obviously, I've only had it in my hand for, you know, less than five minutes probably. But the fact that you can get no blade play at all and have that amount of smooth you know, drop shut action and the detent is, is good. Um, for an access style, you know, knife, this thing is, is so fun to play with. So fun, like fidgety. Um, but then again, if you know, the chunkiness fits the hand well, um, you know, I love the, it's, it's right around the three inch blade, I think maybe a little bit longer. Um, but for me, it's just, it's perfect. Feels really, really good. Uh, I might have to go look for these. Um, maybe, I don't know what versions, I don't know if they just came out with the Toxic Storm Fat Carbon on these ones or if there's other versions of Fat Carbon. I did see Nice Center drop to one for like 140 with blue aluminum, aluminum scales and a 20 CV blade. Um, I might have to look into that because that seems like a pretty good value. Um, but yeah, this thing is this thing is really, really cool. Um, I'm, I'm really glad I got this one in and it just, it looks cool. It's, it's again, kind of a simple design, um, but it kind of has a, you know, kind of a taller blade comes down to a pretty thin edge. Um, blade stock in general is not very thick, but yeah, this thing, uh, by far my favorite out of the three that I just unboxed. Um, three cool knives. I'm glad to be checking them out, but at the same time, uh, this thing just kind of stole the show. I'm glad I waited to handle it last. 
Uh, and this is the Kaiser Drop Bear in 20 CV and Toxic Storm Fat Carbon. And this thing is a baller. Um, this thing is cool. So, uh, yeah, but you have the Drop Bear, you have the Roboto 3 from O Knife, and you have the CMB Dharma Siri for the fifth time. This might be a record for the amount of times that Siri has popped into my video, um, but the CMB Dharma. So, uh, I'm going to get this. Uh, edited and uploaded for you guys. I'm probably going to try to post it on the same day. Like I said, this is February, Wednesday, February the 8th. I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to take my dog here, Lucy, on a walk, get in, uh, take a shower from work and probably do some uh, uploading. Hopefully I'm able to get up, get it up by 5 or 5.30 when I typically post, but it might be a little bit later. Um, so if it is, I apologize about that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, it's pretty, pretty fantastic unboxing. I was pretty excited to get home from work. I was looking forward to it all day. Um, as always, the link will be down below for Blue Creek Knives and Barnes Craft Designs. Uh, you can save 10 and 15% off if you use my code on those websites. Um, I will tag G-Ball Vision in the link down below or in the description down below as well. Go check him out. He is, uh, I think he just went over 2K subs. Um, so congrats, G-Ball, if you're watching this. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, please consider clicking like and subscribe if you have not yet done so. And you're liking the content, um, you know, trying to get to 1,000. We're, we're creeping slowly there, but... Uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Uh, thank you so much for tuning back in, and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.